Hey Simleys, it's Delicracy here with Let's Build an Apartment Block Part 3. Uh, I have had some time off since the last two parts I recorded and thanks for the feedback about the game sound being a bit too loud. I'll make sure to turn it down in the next few parts. But basically this is our apartment block that we built, that we built and I'm pretty stoked with it. I think it's in like in my head, I imagine this to be a new apartment block that is kind of like, it's not super cheap, but it's affordable modern living for families that aren't doing too badly for themselves, I'd say. And I've gone ahead and I've actually done the layout of this apartment build. So I'm going to show you guys that in just one second. I just want to extend that down there. Yes, I love me stripey straps. Eh, don't know about that teeth. That was a little bit of an overkill. All right. So this apartment building has five apartments all together. So basically this is going to be the common area inspired by the Sims 4 City Living that's just come out. Has been confirmed you can't build your own apartments. Uh, but that's all right. I wasn't really expecting that anyway because it's not like we could do that in the Sims 3. But um, yeah. So we have the common area where you essentially enter the building. We're going to put some lounges and stuff there, but you go into this room and up this staircase to get to the upstairs apartments. But there is one apartment straight away on ground level here, which has two bedrooms, one bedroom over here, a main bathroom. Uh, this is going to be open kitchen living. Then if we pop up one, we actually have a master bedroom, bathroom and a balcony area. So that's, uh, this is another apartment next door. So that's one. And then this over here is actually accessed from the level above. So you go up these stairs and this is the ab apartment to our right. So we've got a nice kitchen, living area, balcony, second bedroom and bathroom over here. And then if you go down those stairs, that's how you get to this bottom level where there's probably a master bedroom or a studio with a bathroom. If we pop back up to the top and scoot across to this apartment, this one's uh, like a very small studio apartment. However, it does have a nice big balcony, which is pretty sick. Uh, we could actually divide that balcony just here. So this apartment could have another one, but I thought I'd leave it nice and long. So that's like a studio apartment with a teeny weeny little bathroom. We might need to extend that. Uh, but I liked how this bedroom over here has this balcony and this bed, this house over here has this balcony. I thought that was kind of cool. And then if we go up to the next level, uh, this is kind of the, probably the most expensive apartment. So they get this nice walkway down to here. There's a bedroom here and a bedroom here. So there's actually three bedrooms all together. This is main bathroom, ensuite bathroom, open kitchen and living area. And then you pop up to a really cool mezzanine main bedroom with a giant balcony. Hey guys. Uh, so that's kind of awesome. And they've got a nice big bathroom too. So that's a little bit more luxurious, a little bit more spacious. And then if you go across here, you actually, I love this part because you actually enter onto a balcony to get to the apartment. And I think that's so cute. It gives like such a nice sense of privacy because they would be the only ones who have the keys through this door. Uh, and then this is a tiny little studio apartment. So this is like my dream little studio apartment. And if you actually go through the bathroom, there is a balcony on this side. Although I think we'll remove that because I think that's, I don't know. Do we want a balcony there? It's kind of weird that you go to the toilet. Like maybe we should. Oh my gosh, look at all this wasted space over there. Whew, this apartment just got so much better. Damn it, now this carpet's uneven. Hmm have to go like that. Actually, no, I changed my mind because you don't want to get your dirty feet on the carpet. So extend it that way. Maybe we should move the bathroom over. I'm thinking let's move it over to here. So we can actually enjoy the balcony space. So we'll move that door over like that. Paint the walls a fun color. And then this, I guess, will essentially be a bathroom with a balcony door. I uh, just need to find a nice balcony door actually to put there. Oh, we'll just go here and grab the single door. There we go, the base game one. I've tried to use more base game things, although I will say that this staircase balustrade is from The Sims 4 Get to Work, I think. Uh, otherwise, the base, the, the core of the build is all base game. It's just that railing that you might have to change. Oh, and the staircase railing too. 
because I really like those ones. But anyways, let's get started on furnishing. I don't even know, like, I don't know which one I want to start on. I'm, oh, it's too much. I don't want to start on these ones. I know that. Do I want to start on the penthouse or a little studio one? <gasps> hmm. But I kind of, this is bringing me back to my first ever YouTube video I did. Well, not my first ever, but one of my first that got a lot of views, which is on James's channel. I did the Harperview Apartments with him and it just reminds me so much of that <laughs> uh, because I did a huge furnish of a big apartment building he built and all of the apartments kind of matched in a weird way, except for the penthouse ones. So I think we'll go with, I think we'll go with that same idea. So this apartment will be a totally different style, but maybe we'll just start with, let's start with this little dream apartment. I mean, let's start small and then grow big once we get our general style. And this is kind of an affordable place I'm thinking. So I want to keep to a very simple color scheme and I kind of like the idea of the kitchen having these metal benches or is that a little bit much? I should probably keep it in the theme of a base game build. Hmm. And you know what? I've got a problem already. We need to move that door over. Uh, wow. How are we even going to fit everything in this place? That's so tiny. Okay. I'm thinking this over here can be a little dining area because that would be so nice to sit out there and look at the beautiful view out the window. So let's just go ahead and put a little table here, maybe a couple of chairs. We don't want it to be too expenso. Uh, we could go with that, the moldy green and orange theme, but ew, I don't know about that. Let's just do green and gray. Green and gray, oh, that's so depresso. We'll go black because for some reason that doesn't seem as depressor. I don't know, it doesn't really make sense, does it? And let's maybe put these counters across here. We can put a wall just like that to separate from the toilet door and make it seem like a little room. All right, fine, we're, we're gonna put the door over here, uh, which means that I'm gonna just go Control F to, oh no, I'm not. It's gonna say to kind of make that a little bit more balanced, but that should be fine. Okay, so big problem is this kitchen has literally no room. Uh, let's just put a bed in first. The bed's gonna have to be pushed up against the edge. This apartment's the smallest apartment on the block. Oh my gosh, it's so tiny, but it'll work, it'll work. Uh, maybe let's get a half wall so it's a little bit lower. Let's go a bit lower again. Wow, how? Why is there such a jump between those? Okay. Uh, I like the idea of it being not quite a full wall for some reason. I just think that's nice. So we're going to put that up there. And uh, we will add some different wallpapers in a second. But basically that bed's going to switch around so you can actually see out the window. Unfortunately, you can't have a bed side table so I suppose what we'll need to do is add in some bedside shelves I mean if I was the manager of this building or the designer of this building that's what I would do I don't like this bed how it doesn't match everything I want it to match like a goddess a goddess since when do goddesses match I don't know okay let's just put some shelves in hmm we can do a step ladder shelf maybe and then we can put the bed light here. So this is really a starter apartment. So you assume we'd just start out in this, in this one. Maybe we can actually be super generous and put two lights. Yeah, that's nice. And should we continue with this rock theme there? That's not bad. Looks kind of modern. It's nice, it's nice. And then over here, I guess we can just put some nice decorative objects. We do need to paint that wall though. Hmm. Ew. <gasps> oh, bless me. Bless me. What about this grainy color? Gross. No, no, no. I mean, we could get the building colors, but do we really want to repeat the building co colors indoors? Hmm. I agree, I didn't think so. Uh, that's kind of nice. 
what would I do if I knew heaps of people were going to move into my building? I would make it pretty neutral, I think, even though it's not as exciting. Ew, definitely wouldn't do that. We can start adding this kind of thing, but as soon as we start doing that, we're adding in content from no base, like non-base game content. I don't know if that's a good idea. We'll just switch on base game for now. What are our options? Oh, what about this stuff? This stuff's nice. This, uh, it's a bit dark. It's very dark. It's very dark and depresso. We're not using that. No. I think we're just going to have to go with some neutral paint, honestly. I mean, that's a nice wall color. It doesn't exactly go with the green door, though. Is this more green? It's very clinical looking. Damn it, wallpaper always gets me. All right, let's just go with this warm, <laughs> this warm color. That's nice. And you know what? What we'll do to open up the kitchen once we have a kitchen uh, is we'll put some mirrored splashbacks on there because that's what, what I have in my little apartment. And I think it works really nicely. So we've got the bed there. This is the bathroom. Is the bathroom too big? Maybe we can save some space on that. Uh, let's just get the cheapo toilets because... Yeah, we're building apartments and we want to make the most money we can from them. Uh, yeah, no, that's not gonna happen. Let's just keep it nice and white and bright. I mean, we could put the shower. Oh yeah, we could, we could go like this and have a shower and then extend this little kitchen area back. Uh, like that. Is this gonna work? I mean, yeah. We might need to put in a corner piece though. Ugh, kitchens are really hard to fit in. I'm not gonna lie. That is probably the most challenging part of doing tiny builds is just figuring out where the kitchen is going to go. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, so this is where the fridge can be put. Where are we? There we go. I was actually watching last night for the first time on Twitch speed running, like speed running games. And if you guys don't know what that is, it's basically where these like gamers who are really, really fast at games, usually old games like Super Mario 64 and Zelda, they race against each other to see who can get the fastest time completing the game. So they play the game over and over and over and over again, I imagine, to practice, 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 and just see how fast they can get at it. Seems crazy ukulele in my opinion, but it is so impressive to watch. So I was just watching them for so long in bed. I was like, okay, I have no life now. Like this is this is my life purpose, just to watch speed running gamers. <laughs> wow, it was really good. I enjoyed it a lot. Uh, you know what, does that, we've shifted the door so much and it just kind of makes me sad. Let's put this light in there. This kind of makes me sad that, uh, our door's been, our front door's been squished into the little corner over here. Hmm. Unless we made it, although that's going to spoil that wall there, but we could make it have a little little nicer entrance like that. Maybe I could like that. I mean, that's kind of cute. Yeah. Let's try this. It's all about trying to figure out the best way we can use the space. Uh, even though we kind of blinked off that little area over there. Just ignore that. <laughs> okay. All right. So we've got that happening. You go in there. And fridge is in that corner. We can put the sink over here. That's actually a little bit of bench space now. <laughs> it's bigger than my kitchen I have here at home. So that's a good start. Okay, let's maybe, <sighs> that sink is not the right color. I want a black sink. Oh yes, beautiful. And then we want to get those mirrored splashbacks. Be nice if we could actually have some kind of splashback texture. I really like that. It goes 
Well, I guess you wouldn't. I mean, really, you wouldn't have it behind the fridge. But there we go. And I like how the wallpaper goes with the counter counter swatch. That's kind of nice too. And do we want to bring this stone across like that, maybe? Yeah. Cool beans. All right. All right. So we've got the bathroom over there. What are we going to put on the bathroom walls is another question. We need to probably put some tiles on there or something. Because uh, I, I do like these concrete tiles, but I feel like... Uh, what I feel like it's going to be a bit difficult to find a wallpaper that suits it nicely. Although, no, absolutely not. <laughs> now that now, we need to get. Okay, not that. Hmm. What about these? Could go these in white. Yeah, that's alright. I think that kind of works, but I feel like. Does this come in any other colors? Because it's a really nice size. I like that sizey size. Ooh, that's pretty. <gasps> I love these tiles. Yes, we're, s we're swapping to these tiles now. Oh, I want these in the penthouse. Where's the penthouse? The penthouse that isn't actually that fancy, but it's still so beautiful. Okay, let's put, oh, those tiles don't look that nice in the bathroom, but whatever. Whatever's, it'll do, it'll do. All right, nice bright white bathrooms. We need to get the toilet paper as well. Uh, but safety comes first. So not that toilet paper isn't a safety, a safety object. I mean, trust me, toilet paper has saved me on a number of occasions, TMI, but it's true. And, <laughs> oh, coffee maker. Maybe when they move in here, we give them a free coffee maker. And that's one of the perks of moving into the building. That's like the, welcome to your new home. That'd be such a nice thing to do. But then I guess you'd have to do it for every single person that moves in. Because everyone would take their coffee machine with them, wouldn't they? Cute. Neato. Uh, we could probably also put a couple of cupboards over here as well. And we just covered up the fire alarm, which isn't ideal. I feel like those, hmm. This is when I wish I had a color swatch to match the swatch of the fridge. That would be really handy right about now. White is not going to cut it. We might need to go black and we might make them slightly smaller just to make it a little less intense. Yeah, that's okay. That's okay. Do you want to add more? Yeah, that's definitely looking more realistic. And I like how that corner one doesn't glitch or anything. It looks all good and well. Beautiful. Okay, so we've got the little kitchen. We've got a little dining area here. And I think last of all is that you'd want some sort of living space. <laughs> but that is a problem because <sighs> we have no room. We could... I mean, this wall's ideal for a TV, but I don't think we can fit a couch in because we either block the door or block the way to the room. Hmm. If we go this way though, we can indeed fit a couch in, especially if we hold down Alt. And then we can, let's just put in a red couch. Let's do something stupid and crazy can do that. And maybe we could get away with putting a TV on a diagonal wall. Uh, if we get one of the bigger wall ones, the wall mounted ones, I don't know what this is going to look like. Yeah, it's not ideal, is it? It's not ideal. Let's see if we go like that. I think it, I think we're going to have the problem of it snapping. Okay, let's try another thing. If we go like that and we snap it to the wall like that, can, that's not gonna work. It's not going to work. I could just leave it there and make it imaginary, but I'm still not happy, still not happy. What happens if we put a column in? Will a column fit where the TV is? Uh, no, 
We need something to look like a bracket coming off the wall. Let's go into wall decor. See if there's anything here. Whoa! That's a little bit of an overkill. Uh, how about not that? What about, ooh, message. Who's that? Oh, it's my friend Atlanta. That sign would work okay if it wasn't a hot mess, you know? <laughs> uh, a, what's, I don't know. I don't know what we, uh, this is, maybe we just have to pretend that it's fine. <gasps> oh, I know. Let's go back to our shelf idea. Let's get shelves. Yes. Beautiful. Okay, now it's gonna make it fit. Yeah, and now it looks like the TV is sitting perfectly. We can even maybe put a stack of books behind it or something like that or a little, what have we got here? Oh, nothing wants to sit on the shelf. Yeah, some flowers behind it. That actually works quite lovely, lovely. I mean, these white walls are very white. I just wouldn't mind a little bit of extra color. Ew, that's a bad shade of red. I don't know, I just, I don't know how you guys feel about that red, but I'm not about it. That's more of a red that I'm talking about. Okay, this apartment certainly has a lot of color. <laughs> and yeah, okay, so we've got, I mean, you've got everything you need to get by. All we really need is a shower now, so let's get, let's get it started hot. Let's get it started in here. Let's maybe do black. Oh, what? Is that new, the black outline on that shower? Because that's really nice. Really, I really, really like that. Can we tie more black in here by having like one side with black tiles? I think it's a bit much. I think I just like it simple. Simple, less is more, beautiful. And uh, oh yeah, we need that safety object over here. Let's put it on this wall because there's a little bit more room. Excellent. And we could put a rug in, you know, a rug could be really nice. Get a neutral rug. Rug that goes with everything we've already got going for us. Uh, could we go slightly darker? No, we'll keep it. Keep it like that. Oh, and of course we forgot to put a few items just on here. Let's get some books. Maybe they have some moisturizer, books of tissues. And don't you guys think anything Naughty, okay? Just because I said those objects. Because I know I always get comments where people are like, oh, tissue box, eh? Yes, tissues. Because you have a box of tissues in your house somewhere. That is completely normal, okay? And flying toothbrushes aren't. So let's put that down a little bit. Beautiful. Oh, I love it when I get a little toothbrush holder in a Sims bathroom. Let's change the color of that. Let's make it pink. Actually, pink would be really nice in this house. Let's stick to the power red though for now. Uh, what else can we put up here? I wish there were more objects that would stick on shelves. I mean, I feel like things like these candles could really sit on a shelf quite easily. So it's just, it's just upsetting when they don't. Uh, is that gonna struggle? I don't know. Cool, and one of my personal favorite techniques is to lean a mirror on a shelf or something else like a painting. If you've kind of just placed it there and not been able to hang it up because it's a rental, so they're not allowed to, you know, put holes in the walls and put this one there. Nice, and that matches the tissue box. Beautiful. And then last of all, over here, we should put a little barbecue just in case they want to, 
I don't know, have like one friend around who can fit in this place and grill up a storm. And maybe we'll also put out here a little love seat because who don't like sitting and cuddling on a love seat on a balcony overlooking a beautiful view. Again, there's a lot of black, but I think it kind of works. Uh, is there anything else we can put on the wall? Maybe we can put a, this is cool. Yeah, nice one. Okay, well, there we go. The first apartment is done. We'll probably need to add a few extra things over to here, but I'll do that in, a, in the next video probably. Anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. I'll speak to you soon.